DJ Night Slayer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own facial rig for any skin you want. Um, it works best with flat pupils, but 2x2 two two pupils can work too. So first you want to get your skin. Um, I'm going to use this one. I would recommend renaming it. So um, you always want to copy and paste it so you don't ruin your skin. So you want something with transparency, I'm going to use paint.net. So, um, sorry if I'm going a little fast, but, alright. Now, you want to zoom in on the face, and what you want to do, you want to not do that. Whoops, my bad. We need to get the select tool. Select tool is the easiest, because it's 16 by 16. So just delete the eyes, and, um... We can do a mouth if we want one. I'm not going to do one just for this tutorial, but a mouth would go, say, right here. But I'm still figuring out the mouth. I learned this by myself, so you just want to save it. Hit OK. Close that out. Open up Minimator. Anytime now. There we go. Um, hit new, add character, skin, browse, let's go to our desktop, let's fetch our skin. There you go. So, here you will have clear pupils. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do his pupils. So, first you want to add block. It can be any block, it doesn't matter. Name it, don't touch. Because you never want to touch this. So first you want to lock whatever you name it to character 1. So, and then body part head. So now it looks like he has grass block on his head. But what you want to do, you go want to go to overlay, color, white and go to a hundred percent now we're going to go to scale and position scale it down I'd say that looks good you kinda want two for two different eyes but um, this will work too so you don't have to do right eye left eye right eye left eye so with that out of the way let's add go to your library library why did I say that um name this one pupil left pupil and go ahead and lo lock this to character one or whatever um you know just whatever color your person's eye has go to overlay so this person has purple so we're just going to go ahead and purple. It won't be perfect, but just try and get it as close as you can. Go now that go to scale and position. Um, instances left pupil body part head. You always want to make sure it's on head. So, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and scale this down. you have flat eyes you can turn off simple scaling but since this person this character does not have that so as you can see this person's eyes is starting to form you always want it right here because you don't want a pupil that's going to stick out all right um this looks about good this looks pretty good to me uh, let's go ahead and just make this 0.6 0.06 a little bigger. This looks this looks good to me. Yep, that looks good to me. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and save this. I uh, never mind. So um, it says grass block, but it's actually a pupil. So as you see, if we just move this guy's head, everything will follow it. As you see, his pupils following him. 
Okay, now let's go. Let's. We just want to. Um. Let's go ahead and duplicate. Duplicate. Now let's name this right pupil because you always want pupils the same size. So we take the right one, put it over here, and just not do that because the line's in the way. All right, so now we have a person whose eyes can move. Um, eyebrows are a little trickier. Go ahead and go to left pupil. Move this a little further back. All right, and right pupil. A little further back. All right, with that done, we want. Now we can make a little animation with his new eyes. So we can make him do not anything. We'll just make him wave his right arm. Okay, well, wow, that was awkward. Let's try that again. So, we'll just do a simple wave because, you know, nothing too bad. Let's go do this, do this. I was gonna do all the bending and stuff, but it doesn't matter. Let's do his right pupil. You never want to rotate your pupils. That that would be very bad. Let's have him look this way. For some reason, one looks bigger than the other. I think that's because... There. So, now he's looking that way. Now let's have him derp. Now let's have him derp some more. So as you see, his pupils just move around like a derp. Let's just slow down the tempo a tad. So now we have moving eyes that can show emotion. And um, now let's focus on eyebrows. Now I already have, you just need MC edit for this. You don't have to have MC edit, it would just make it a little easier. You need two blocks next to each other in the same instance. So. Um, so I'll just close this out. No. So I'll go to my Minimator rig. Whoops. Um, uh, my bad. I accidentally hit the pause button. So as I was saying, let's go to my, um, facial rig for my skin. Open. Let's go to animations. My skin rig. So here is my skin. Um, as you see, I have an eyebrow. I don't have a mouth yet. The mouth is gonna be hard. But um, as you see, I've the eyebrow, the pupil. Since my hair is covering up the other one, I only need one pupil, and the don't touch, which is the white one. So, so if I can just rotate my head, I can just go wee my pupils in my head. Okay, with that done, um, yeah, that is my rig. Um, I have eyebrows, which uh, you you can't have simple scaling. You you have to have this off, all that weird stuff. So um, I if you want me to do a tutorial on the eyebrows and the mouth, comment down below. But this was an eye tutorial, so I'll be. My animator facial rig part one. So that was the eyes. As you see, I can move my pupil around. It's uh, 
I like it. It's like, is that a creeper? Is that an Enderman? No one knows. Oh my god. No. Get back here. Wait, no. Um, so, yeah, that was the eye. And this is the skin we'll be choosing for animating. Um, just zoom in. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and this is Daedric Nexler, signing out. See you later, guys.